Hey y'all, let's check out Serenity Peaks. Hey y'all, so another beautiful land. We are in for a treat today. As y'all can see, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we had a, a bit of fantasy, a bit of fantasy in fall. If you guys are new here, welcome. I am Shy in Second Life, and it is definitely a vibe on this side. On this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So real quick disclaimer, if you guys hear like a large gust of wind, that's my heat cutting on. Yeah, snowball microphone captures everything. You know, I'm gonna end up getting another microphone. I love this microphone, but yeah, it be doing too much when it comes to picking up every little bit of sound around it. And, and I really like that, I really like that. So if you guys hear that, that's what it is. I am recording this video shortly, like still freezing up. You know what? When stuff like this happens, I am convinced Firestorm is like doing something in the background. So I'm in the shared environment, so things are kind of dark, you know, a little bit dark. I like to, I'm trying to keep it for Vlogtober. I'm trying to keep things pretty much um, how they have their shared environment. I don't know if it's because it's late in Second Life that this is their shared environment, but it's not too bad. Um, I am. What, what am I? I am recording this video shortly after I have recorded the Boo Fest video. So I'm really like, I'm on a, a recording high, if you will. So I said, you know what? Let's go and let's look at Serenity Peaks. So now this is a community land. So when I panned out, the land did look quite large. However, it's just a bathroom. We don't, we don't need to look at no damn bathroom. I am not sure of how much of this land we're actually going to be able to view. So we'll look around for a little bit, you know, for a little bit. I must say when I'm looking at the timing of my last couple of videos, I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself, you guys, because as you guys know, um, I'm good for a two parter. I I'm good for a two parter. I, I get carried away. And even though we be chilling and vibing and having a nice time, I'm like, I got all these lands that I want to show y'all and I'm like, I'm not being fair to y'all. I'm not being fair to y'all, giving y'all two, three, four parties. You know? I'm, I feel like I'm always going to go back to how I really lost my damn mind with that Evergarden community um, video. I said four parts, four parts. And they were like... 12 to 15 minute video. So it wasn't even like a, oh, she did this and then she made like a seven minute video. No, these were, these were full, you know, videos. For me, I like my videos to be between 10 to 15 minutes. That's like, that's what I like to do. I feel like that's not too long, not too short, in my opinion. I used to make three minute videos for Second Life, so I've come a long way. But yeah, I feel like four parts is a bit much. It's a bit much. I love touring with you guys. I love hanging out with y'all all the time. But I want us to see different things. And we cannot see different things if we're spending four parts on one damn video. Like, no. So, I have come here when it was... Well, I didn't come here when it was lighter. It was about this type of lighting. And then I changed the shared environment. And it was really beautiful as well. So, this land works really, really well with a lot of different shared environments. Because it does have that whimsical fantasy feel to it. So, I really do like that. Um, please excuse the freezing up. I, I, ain't got, I ain't got no control over that. Second Life gonna do what Second Life gonna do. But did you fall? and did not so a lot of these things they are going to look more aesthetically pleasing in a different light but like i um stated oh it's better from this side like i had stated when i first started vlogtober i believe i'm going to try to show these lands in their shared environment because that is the intended environment um many many lands they create their own shared environment to give a certain type of ambiance i love this china set yeah Fun fact, when I was a little girl, maybe about seven or eight, my grandma, my dad's mom, bought me a tea set and it was a real china tea set. And I would have my tea and a tea set that looked very similar to this. This is very, very nostalgic for me. It was a beautiful china set. Yeah, I was I was one of them girls. 
my daddy mm-hmm. my daddy set the bar he set the bar real high real high he's a you can't even mention it around him or you will ha- or you will have an abundance of it don't say you have a sweet tooth he's buying a whole caramel cake don't even worry about it you want something savory how about shrimp and grits for breakfast it's gonna be real good we're getting up making breakfast everybody come eat i made a plate for everybody i got up at six and made breakfast you like plants i'm gonna go get you a plant i'm gonna go get you the biggest baddest plant ever that take low light and a little bit of water i gotta if something wrong with your car it won't be tomorrow this type of daddy I get. This type. This type. This is why those men in some of those podcasts be like, I can't date a woman who has an active father in her life because she's real different. It's like you can't win for losing. They they say we want you to have a father in your life, but not an active father in your life. It's that type of thing. It's like they have a problem if you have an active father in your life, and then they have a problem if you don't. This land is so pretty. I feel like I'm walking in circles. I just might be, but I feel like some of these mushrooms, I just have not passed yet. I don't know, but it is glorious. Look how pretty it is. Every which way you turn, it is so pretty. They have steps um, that go to different places. Some of the steps do lead to houses. Do not go in the houses because this is a community. When you guys come to this land, this is a community land. So we are what? Yeah, we're very respectful of communities because they could have set this land to private, but they didn't. So we're going to respect it. So like, what's over here? Some of this stuff I do feel like I've seen. So we did see this. I am walking in circles. So this land does have a cute little cuddle park type vibe to it. And I really, really do like that. I love this. It's so pretty. Like I said, I'm not sure if the shared environment is like this because um, it's late in Second Life. It's 1.44 a.m. for me right now. So it is nighttime in Second Life. I don't know if the shared environment is like this for me or if this is like their natural shared environment. Like I said, when I came here last time, I don't remember what the shared environment was because as soon as I came, I think I was already in a different environment. So I didn't even try to see what their shared environment was they have a lot of cute little dip off spaces really really nice for like cuddling super cute pictures everywhere every place is gonna have a beautiful beautiful picture for you to take it is marvelous here look at all of this so yeah i feel like the common space for this area is pretty small but that is okay i do feel like i am walking in circles and that's what i don't want to do because i don't pass this table like three times so yeah we're gonna go ahead and end it here y'all and i'll see you guys tomorrow